fears. The Lord of Duval has come back to downright fierce gaming. Is that what it is? Because it, it's, it's starting to feel a lot like WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> the king of the eyes were... Yeah, I said... You're oh, no, no, I could. I mean, I could. I mean, I could. Let's see. Sorry, um, I mean, let me I think of another. Um, um, if you smell, wait, shit. That's where I already did that. Um, uh, um, oh, this yep. was a wrestling. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you're I man. Know. This is why you're not the host anymore. Okay. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Downright Fierce Gaming. My name, as I've just said, is the King of Hugs, Lord of Duval. Jacob Alexander will pick the third. He's not important. Who are you? Tristan Haynes. And. Well, I mean, Josh is that? <laughs> you really threw me off with that. I'm like, am I, what? Got him. Josh is that you. Co-host. As David Sully says, that sure was just too sweet. That was the wrestling thing, too, yep. right? Yep. Okay. Two, okay. Yeah, we've only spent like a 30 seconds of wrestling. Okay. Anyway, welcome to uh, Sunday Night Heat. Uh, this is the precursor to Monday Night Raw, which is a day afterwards. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway. So we're gonna switch things up today. As you might as you might know, your boy's in the middle seat now. He has grown up. I still have the same amount of gray hair, but that's okay. Uh Josh is over there. I'm over He's here. He's been demoted. Um The audio so- podcast uh, audio listeners have no idea what's happening, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect. That's on them. They should go to the video. Uh, so, um, which is why I, I, well, I was going to point to you, but again, go to your point about the audio listeners, yep. I suppose. Anyway, so we're going to switch things up tonight. Wow. We're going to, we're going to hold on the news. <laughs> we're going to talk about what we've been playing today. Josh Asensio, that I spelled wrong all the time. What the fuck have you been oh playing? Oh my God. I have, I have, I currently have an unhealthy obsession with Stardew Valley. I, Please I, tell me. I downloaded it on Tuesday, I think. Mm. And because, okay, so I, I realized that, I don't know if you guys do the same thing. I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it in, in the Switch store and, or the whatever it's called, uh, Nintendo store. And <laughs> what is it called? I forgot. It, it, I, yeah, store, I guess. I, I, I think it's the, 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 the Nintendo Switch store probably. Yeah, not the eShop no. anymore. E-sh- e-shop. Yeah, no, it's it's Nintendo eShop. Okay. Okay. See, always Tristan with the fucking <laughs> See, like line exactly. of the night, always. Like, Guys, this is logic statement. So I'm looking at this game and it's fifteen dollars, and I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want to, I want to buy it because ah, it's just that's fifteen dollars. And then I realize like I accidentally spend fifteen dollars all the time at the bar. Like just it just happened. Sure. Like oh god, I for I didn't realize I bought everybody like three shots or something. Mm. Like I just I, I so I'm like you know what I'm I'm gonna not buy those three shots and I'm just gonna buy a game that I'm probably at least gonna spend five hours with at the very least sure and so that was Tuesday it is now Sunday and I've probably spent a total of like 30 40 50 hours in in, in this game <laughs> so okay so, I'm in year so, two so the the date is April 15th 2018 when did you buy this game Josh I mean you're gonna make me do math yep oh, oh, uh, yep so just give me a just give that'd be five, that'd be five days ago so that'd be t- uh, the, so the April, t- 10. The t- April 10 you literally did the math yourself and then panicked yeah <laughs> I don't like simple you, math you alright so you bought the game five days ago yeah. you spent 40 to 50 hours on it probably so clearly you like it as, at least a tad, I suppose. It is incredible. Now, I've never played Animal Crossing, which apparently that's this game crazy. is like. I thought it was like Harvest Moon. Or Harvest yeah, it's, Moon way, or it's way more Harvest or, Moon. Yeah, um, I mean, just farming in general. And, and Jamie, my fiance in the chat, goes, move the, cl- the cows, cluck the chickens. Uh, that, that, I don't know if you guys watch The Office. That's, like a, that's a reference to The Office. I watch good shows. Every... Ooh. You could fuck right off. <laughs> You're not the fucking host anymore, Josh. Every day, every day in this game, I have a habit. I, 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 not a habit, a ritual. Like I go in and I, I cluck the chickens. Like that's actually like you click them, they cluck, and then they like you more. And then and I take their eggs so and us I in sell real them life, and huh? stuff. Yeah. Like it's it's. <laughs> this game has consumed my life. 
This game has consumed my life. I I didn't even get the joke you were saying. I didn't get the wrestling thing. How? I'm thinking about right now. How? I'm thinking about right now. Yeah. Is how my crops are doing. Yeah. I'm thinking about like right now. Like if right the right cauliflower second. is gonna come in or not. Whether or not I put in Where's your Nintendo throws, Switch right now? It's right. I've been looking. I've been staring oh my at god. It. I, okay. haven't, so I haven't. So I haven't been able record, to tear my goddamn so eyes record, away from and, it because that's all I can think about. Corey, my twin, is like we miss you and Uno. I left Uno to come and do this podcast. I miss you too. We miss. I miss. I well we. I miss myself, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so the Switch is in the dock right now. And I, I'm like, itching he is to in play it. I can't even, like, tear my need. eyes away from it. He's in a massive need. Like, <sighs> but too bad. So sad. It's a good game. I recommend it. Awesome. <laughs> so, for the record, I need to play that. I have it's not. Really good. Um, isn't that. Uh, isn't there a sequel cool? or something? Like, no, 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 no. It's, it's, just, the, it's just that one. And the, the best thing about this game okay. is that. It doesn't really look like there's any like there's a it's kind of like persona there are things happening around you and it's your decision what you want to do so if you want to just focus on your farming you could just focus on your farming and then never go into the mines if you go into the mines you could have a sword and like fight jellies and do all that stuff and 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 you know whatever if you want to fish all day you can fish all day it's just whatever you feel like doing and i like money so you know Word. I, I want. I try to Word. make money in this game nice also tell me tell me what you've been playing but while you type that up tristan well, I, unless you've been playing anything else, Josh. I, mean, I, believe, I, I know, know I know. Don't me wrong. Existed. Don't me wrong. I know, like... Actually, uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Okay. Yeah. Tell it's, me about Assassin's Creed Origins. I could That's not That's the Egyptian care. one, right? I could not care any less about the uh, story. Man. Like, the story man. is just... But the graphics are beautiful. Yeah. Graphics are absolutely beautiful. The story is just... Man, I really don't care. Like, <laughs> so, it's, it's okay. kid gets so, killed. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about wow. you. They didn't um, establish like a bond with a kid. Like one scene, like I have a dead. son. Now he is dead. Okay. That's it. So Ooh. Man, I don't want to spoil a game. Um, but okay. I'm gonna say Oh, I can't I say, say anything. Heavy rain? No. Shot! No. Shot! <laughs> Def- definitely not. Like but, shut up. but another I I do. I, I'm gonna get there. Uh Quinn. Much appreciated, sir. Quinn was over here in the chat like, first time watching cool stuff. Shout out to Jacob. You boy, you know, holding it down, all that shit. As Josh goes to get another beer. Again, tell me what you're playing. If you're not playing anything, fine. That's cool, too. Why are you watching video game podcasts? But, hey, don't go anywhere. Anyway, Tristan, what are you playing? Uh, I've been digging more into Vermintide, mm. the second one. What, uh, what the hell that? is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Warhammer game. It is oh, basically... Oh! No, yeah. Now we're back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically like medieval Left for Dead is mm. kind of the best way. Like, wait, but Warhammer is, is it's not like a it's not, is it a real time strategy game? No, or? it's it's like a Left for Dead. It's just in the universe. Like, oh, cool. Yeah. So, because Warhammer, because like it's funny because like with Warhammer with, with Warhammer and Warhammer like forty thousand mm-hmm. and the Warhammer four thousand is all about space marines and shit like that. Warhammer, the Warhammer space marines is about. <laughs> God damn it! That's the third anyway, person action yeah. game. Exactly. That was a fun game. Uh, so. So wait, so so Warhammer, like, correct me if I'm wrong, was is a, is like you know the classic um, medieval dwarves, elves type shit. Like, yeah, it's like so. rats and like weird undead dudes are the people you're fighting in this one. Wow, that was a lot of silence. Anyways, okay, Miles, hold on, hold on. Okay, Miles says, no one stop, 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 stop. We need to focus. <laughs> And I know. Well, clearly, this is you just did like, on chat for like a good like ten seconds. <laughs> we were gonna go back. I was gonna let Tristan finish, and then you fucking. No, you both like co- went completely quiet for like we, what? No, you because you poked me in the chest. Yes. So let me poke. Keep talking. All right, keep poking. That's no, all she said. Uh, hey, <laughs> Kyle, you're a fantastic, terrible influence, and I love you very much. So, Kyle, for the for all your listeners, is saying, is no one gonna mention that we can see through where Jacob's heart should be? I have a heart. His name's Link. He's right. He's right here. I'm right next, right under. But actually, that's actually not where my heart is. My heart's like right over here somewhere. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Tristan, keep yeah. talking. So it's Left for Dead style, where you are working your way through levels, having to do objectives, and it's like four player group. They have some cool classes. There's like this pyromancer one who has like an overheat mechanic, where if you use your spells too many times, you'll blow up and die. So oh, kind of got a so like he that. like over like overheat. Yeah, yeah, like actually overheats, and you have to like vent it, which also does damage to your health. So you kind of got to manage that while also being oh, swarmed by. Is he like super powerful? I mean, he's as powerful as the other people. So. How old is this game? 
This one just came out like within the last month. It's the second. Like, Jesus, Lord, where the fuck did it go? Like, I, I, I haven't like I haven't heard anything about really? this game. I'm yeah, about the graphics like is yeah. it like it's they're I mean they're decent. It was wow. it's like it took a thirty dollar game, so they seem to be Steam and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly why I haven't heard of it. <laughs> yeah, Sounds they good. PC gaming. They released several that's patches nice. already, so they're definitely oh yeah intent and they're Wait, listening to feedback. A, it's not a early access. No, still okay. Mm. And then I've been digging into Hearthstone a little bit again over the past couple really? of Really? Yeah. No. I've been away from it for about a year. And mm-hmm. then... A I'd... year? A solid year. Wow. Yeah. And then a new expansion just came out, so mm-hmm. I'm trying out some of those new cards. Is Because uh, I've actually had uh, my, my buddy Brandon, um, and you should follow him on Twitch, twitch.tv slash fixation, F-I-X-A-T-I-O-N. You should follow He us, streams. <sighs> Do we stream, though? Oh, exactly. We will be uh, <laughs> later on this month. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash downright fierce. It's literally on the paper right in front of me. I'm not looking at the paper. Okay. I have a good memory. Okay. And no, that's not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's switch.tv uh, slash DRF podcast. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, so he plays a lot of Hearthstone. He's like, okay. oh, hey, Jacob. Um, and then he like starts explaining like the, the different cards, and I'm just like, and then I just die. Like I, yeah. So I realized that card games aren't for me. Because I guess I, cause I grew up with Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh and you know, like that's yeah. that was my shit. And then the I even argue that like the Pokemon TCG game on Game Boy Color is one of the best Game Boy Color games. Game Boy games, period. Like, well, no, because I didn't game ask Boy, your fucking opinion. Josh, no, because Pokemon Red and Blue. But I said okay. Yeah, well, well, you said one of the best. You said one of the best. You said one of the best. Yes, I, I did. I got, you, I got you. Thank you. Tristan was listening. Was Josh? I don't know. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, am I? So, uh, and like that was like I was all in on those on on that specific game, and then I still I think I still have my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards from like sixth grade or whatever. So I figured I was all in on Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Hearth. 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 Hearth, hearth Hearthstone. Why well, do I have a list suddenly? <laughs> um, so Hearthstone, <laughs> and I don't know. I think I had a seizure. I'm not. Sh- <laughs> I'm not sure. Do you smell toast? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. So so far, so big. So far, so good. Hosting is hard, dude. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> hey, it's a it's a difficult gig. Somebody has to do it because Josh is not good at it. Isn't that right, Josh? That's that's correct. Correct. Anyway, please continue. Oh, that's the extent of it. Cool. I know. <laughs> Throwing back right to right to me. Um, yeah, he he plays it a lot, and he's like, "Yeah, Jacob, um, there's some sort of sorcery card, and then I just die, dude. Like, I wow. He becomes he becomes the the teacher from Peanuts. Wah, 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 wah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you did your best. A plus. I don't know. Anyway, so what have I been playing? I'm playing a few things actually. Nino Kuni two. <laughs> Holy shit, that game is awesome. So, do you have to play the first one? No, you do not. I was going to start really? with that too. Yeah, you you do not have to play the first one to play this game. I've gotten that like re- that question probably six or seven times over the course of the last week. You do not like, have to play Nino Kuni two to play. I also Nino heard Kuni. that the first. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't have to play Nino Kuni one to play Nino Kuni two and get and get everything. I heard that the first one also has like more of a Pokemon feel and that yeah like, that one's absolutely like, some something about the combat's more fun with that or it's like it's or it's more um. Uh, it like captures your your, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> captures your uh, your Who, like attention I? a little bit more. Um, I don't, I don't, well, I played both and uh, I beat I beat one. Um, so I know surprising. I don't beat video games. I buy things and I go to a next one because I'm a terrible fucking person. And my backlog is like, please help me. And Horizon Zero Dawn is like, why haven't you beat me? I'm the game of the year. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Zelda. So, so you yeah. You still haven't beaten Zelda? No, I still haven't beaten yeah, Zelda. That. Yeah, I haven't beaten Zelda. So, so that was the joke. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> I, no, it's all good. I'm, I'm yes anding you. I know. Thank I'm you like, very much. I'm like, oh, yes and. But, but it's so fun to just kind of like throw some daggers right back at you. You know what I mean? I got you. I got you. That's, that's I got way to be too. a team player. I don't, there's no I am a team. Maybe I am team. team captain. Yeah, exactly. So, um, if you're not familiar with Nino, <laughs> with Nino Kuni Two, um, you I don't want to spoil the beginning of it because I've I've I've, I've actually watched reviews and read some content content about it, and then I still got surprised by the the intro of the game. So, but essentially, you are 
the character that you play as in the beginning, you are transported into some sort of fantasy world and you are transported in the middle of like a coup d'etat. Uh, some like a chancellor is trying to go after the throne. They use of the word coup d'état. Isn't that pretty great? It's a great word. I don't know if that's even correct. It, it might be. It, dude, I'm telling you, when it comes to like words that aren't from our language, all you got to do is say with confidence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. But uh, so, and you're transported in, into that world with that. And then that's where the story begins. And then, um, it's actually the first time in a while. It's it's, it's, it's very very very. What are you doing? I oh, mean, it's it's clear. Uh, yeah. So wait. The, so the beer's so the beer's not clear, but the, oh right, because uh, key <laughs> stuff. What is what is it called? Like key something that comes to green screen. Chroma key. Chroma key. That's a Yingling. Welcome it's to a green the podcast, bottle. audio listeners. Yeah, it's a green. It's a it's a green screen. Uh, um, I hope you catch up by this point. But that's okay. Uh, so it's a great game. Um, it, it's about building a kingdom to try to kind of get back um, into power, which is so interesting to me because there's many JRPGs that you play that the villain that you're fighting is trying to become the ruler of the world. Kefka, Final Fantasy VI, Luca Blight, Swickaden. But this kid named Ethan is a super cute, adorable kid. And like, normally, like, the. Characters like that, oh god! Characters, <laughs> characters like that in, um, in, in especially Japanese RPGs, are usually super fucking annoying. Like, oh, I want to be the best, and uh, this kid is actually well, well acted. Um, Ninokuni one and two are both incredibly dark, and you you get emotionally invested right away. I highly recommend it. Please play it. I do have a question I, about the difficulty because I've heard it's oh. way too easy to the game's detriment. It's it's it is pretty easy, but okay. but um, because most folks that are talking about that are talking about the the battle system specifically. Okay. Um, if you play like a Tales game, um, a Tales RPG, you kind of get the the uh, the um, the the bits and pieces of it, so to speak. Okay. Um, but at the, but at the end of the day, it's still That's really true. fucking fun. Thank you, boo. I couldn't figure out how to open it. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> is that a twist stop? Because I it is not a twist stop. Oh yeah. So okay. there we go. Hey, I have a ring too. Yeah, what's it made of? Uh, tungsten. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if my ring is made of gold. So mine's stronger it's... than that. Okay, so then you would be it's, able to open a beer like bottle. The next strongest jewelry to diamond. Oh, okay. Well then, yeah. So why the fuck did you have a problem? I didn't. <laughs> And yet I opened the beer. I didn't know that I could do that. You're welcome. You just learned something today. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Brandon's saying again, Jacob has a shirt that reacts to the green screen. Is it though? Yeah, it does a little Quinn bit. Quinn has an interesting uh, thing. I have a, Quinn says that I have a hard time getting emotionally invested in, in games, especially RPGs. Okay. Has so I played Persona 5. Have you? Well, hold on. So like... So then, the real question is: Is are you just because like sure you got shooters and, and and sports games and stuff like that? And I know Quinn and Quinn. I don't think Quinn is is that kind of gamer. So what are you looking for in games that you're missing? Because the emotional be investment is kind of persona all what I look type for. thing, like a void of in, in your life, a persona. Right, and like that's something we'll get into uh, that I have a subject about uh, as far as from a, a time perspective, like what what it takes. Because like from what I've read about Nino Kuni two. It's not a very long game. It's 30, 40 hours um, if you kind of go right through it. <laughs> like, it's not that long. That long. I mean, that's not. I mean, you put 40 it's hours in 30 RP. <laughs> I mean, well, no, but th I'm not going to also say that that's yeah. not that long of an experience. When it comes to a, but, but when it comes to a JRPG, that's short. Dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, right. Okay. For, for yeah, JRPG, it's a JRPG. But you said a game. I, well, uh, well, I, well I, I'm speaking of Nino Kuni 2 gotcha. specifically. It is not a very long game. To his detriment or not, I don't know yet. Um, I'm still, I'm again, I'm very early. These are very early impressions, but I love the fuck out of it. It's very fun. To your point, Tristan, about mm. the the ease of it. Um, there, it's. I've had some boss fights that were early on anyway that were fairly difficult and like, all right, I had to, I had to do some tactical evasions to, but like in, a, in the way of like <laughs> big bad big club. He's going to charge up and throw this club at me, so I roll out of the way or whatever, right? Okay. So, uh, so yeah, 
so so that's so something like that sure 100 percent. but i'm in it for the story so um i don't really have a problem with that and i haven't had a game that i've grinded in in a while and don't get me wrong you don't need to grind in this game at all but the battle system is so fun mm -hmm. that i don't i don't mind like running into 12 encounters in a row um i actually i, w I ran into like one in the in about the three or four hour mark there's a big like three sequence like puzzle like very jrpg very much like a situation of you have like you're you're having to go through a sequence of of tiles and you, you have to go through a sequence um there's a story that's being told and you have to hit this this perspective and then this one and this one in order um and i hate i hate i fucking hate puzzles i've said it before on this podcast many a fucking time I hate fucking puzzles. I hate fucking puzzles. I don't fuck puzzles. What? I'm a fucking heterosexual Wait, man. I was well, going to say, why are you having sex with puzzles? I know. That's why I beat you to the punch. Go ahead, though. Please, please continue. No, that was it. Oh, okay. Um, I would rather have sex with puzzles than have to, you know, play them. Oh, that's an another sexual joke. I don't know. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm doing. Anyway, so the I, this was the first time in a while... <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time in a while that I actually had a lot, a lot of fun with with puzzles in a game. Mm -hmm. Because usually, like, oh, they were pretty good, yeah. Yeah, For like my friend Jacob. Oh yeah, no, no, legit. I I heard the puzzles were one of the uh, one of the <laughs> highlights of the game. That's true. Okay. IGN.com, a way better podcast. <laughs> I recommend uh, listening to them <laughs> on their on their uh, their review mm. of uh, Immuno Kinesia. Fair enough. But anyway, so yeah, play that fucking game. Also, Monster Hunter World. I haven't played it in a while. You should play it, though. Um, because Nino Kuni 2 has especially replaced it in my mind. Even though, like, it's definitely a game that I want to go back and play. But I just, man, I got a, got a Wars coming up. Oh, yeah. I, and, like, it's, it's I got to go, dude. Dude, like, God of War. Actually, the reviews should be up already. It, they no, are. there are. Like, and everywhere. we'll, actually, yeah. since we're talking about it, we'll, uh. We'll skip, a, we'll skip ahead a little bit and say that I'm actually kind of blown away at the reception of it. Like, yeah. we've we've been waiting for uh, for that game for a while. Like, it was revealed, what, well, two, almost two years ago? Yeah, no. Not, not, uh, uh, it, was, no it was like about a year ago. It was two E3s ago, I thought. Yeah, was two, it? I, I want to say yeah. two E3s ago because I think that the end of the PlayStation uh, conference, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong out there, but I want to say that they're like, they, they, the one more thing was <sighs> God of War. Hold on. I got it. I, I'll, yeah, I'm sure. Gonna, yeah, gonna... let's look it up. But I um, I remember thinking, I'm like, man, I, cause I've never been a big, like, don't get me wrong, those games are God of War 1, 2, 3, and I didn't play Olympi Chains of Olympus or any of the other ones. I, but... I played the first. Like I started playing the first one and I got like halfway through and I just sure. stopped caring. I couldn't like it, it's and, just not my it, it it didn't age well. Yeah, well and and well when did you play it? Just out of just out of curiosity. Uh, like three years ago. Okay, so so pretty recent in in the grand yeah. scheme of things. Yeah, yeah. Because the the complaint that's pretty common is like cool the gameplay is awesome mm -hmm. but the character is awful. Yeah, he kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, what, 20, what, why am 2016. I 2016? Yeah. Yeah, why I am I that it was 2018? Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> wait, no, wait. So that would be that would be. Oh yes. oh, yeah, two, two E three. Yeah, yeah, because E three is about yeah. a couple, month or so yeah, away, yeah, or whatever, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Chris Tan says the end of last year was Spider Man, but we're talking well, we're talking about the year before, right? Yeah. So yeah, so 2016. Um, and and Quinn, I'll get back to your point in a second, because um, that actually leads me to an interesting discussion, I think. But um, so I think that. We're in a situation that's, that's really, really cool because we're in the midst of God of like our God of Wars at the at this point everyone's saying which again we haven't even actually I'm gonna I'm gonna segue out actually and say that I'm a little I'm a little offended about like pundits saying that it's their game of the year when no one's fucking played the goddamn game yet. Well, no, no, and, a lot. Of, are you saying no one like? Like no one like of us or no one in no the yeah because it well has it because well, it's, it's not coming out of, for another five days but I mean a lot of people in the industry have been playing it and they've been like all the major press outlets are right. getting ready to run their stories as soon as the embargo broke they're already running I mean that, that's but the, the embargo thing. broke so last the, week yeah exactly well actually it was this it was yeah it was this week 
It was well, this Sunday week, the now, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So it, last the, Monday, I guess. The embargo broke, and they just ran every story. I mean, I was listening yeah. to the podcast, and they're talking about. I can't say anything about what we're you know, sure. doing, but like, man, this game is. Oh my god, it's so yeah. good. like mm-hmm. they. Everybody's been like super hype about this game, and just waiting to talk about it. Right, and I think that's really, really. What, that doesn't the, happen often. Right, and and my my takeaway was it was like what, my takeaway with it, I should say, is like I'm like okay, I. I'm I'm really I'm really grateful. Like, don't get me wrong. I read reviews all the time. I'm glad it's a nine point five or or a ten or whatever. I'm gonna buy it after I beat Nino Kuni too. I made a promise to myself. I I can't. I'm not allowed to buy it before I, I finish that game. But at a certain point, does there become a situation where um, that those like that much hype like affects somebody in a negative way? No. No. Why? I, I hope you don't mind me jumping in real quick. No, and I'll tell you perfect example of Persona yeah, sure. Five. All you All right. fuckers have been <laughs> saying like Persona Five, greatest game ever. Persona Five tens, it's 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 perfect. Everything about it. And I was thinking that I'm like, you know, I'm probably gonna go into this game and it's gonna be okay because mm-hmm. I don't like RPGs. And that game was so incredible that it made me incredible. like RPGs again, and it made me seek out more RPGs. It it turned me on to an entire genre, mm. so the hype didn't ruin it for me at all. Interesting. It's I, th- I think what's most important is to understand how to deal with hype, because for some people, okay. possibly. That's, that's, the, that's the thing. For some people, possibly, you can ruin it for yourself. Sure. So, you know, if you go in expecting it, this is going to be the greatest experience ever. Right. Then... You know, then it, you then might on, be disappointed. Then that's, then that's but on if you, you go right? In, if you go in thinking this is supposed to be the greatest experience ever, I think sure. you're still receptive to the idea. Right. So uh, what about you, Tristan? I kind of feel the opposite way. Like, uh, for, for me or from, from Josh? From Josh. That okay. uh, being overhyped is definitely, at least for me personally, is detrimental. Like mm-hmm. the example that I'll use is the Uncharted series. <sighs> Great I, example. I know that. Well, but you're wrong, though. <laughs> I, I, I'll actually give yeah. you a point. No Man's Sky would be no would Man's be, Sky. No, no Man's Sky would be would be a great like to your point would be yeah, over hype killing it. But you're wrong about Uncharted. That's so. a different hype though. That that was just hype in general about No Man's Sky. I mean, just right. like critical oh, hype. Okay. Like I got you. Everyone's like, oh my god, the Uncharted series. Right. I came to it way later than than like most people, I guess, because I only ever played it when I got like the Nathan Drake trilogy maybe a year or so ago. Sure. And. The first few games did not age well. The first oh that's I'm not saying anything about the story. Dead. I enjoyed the story, but they are clunky as hell. No, and it was the first, the first one. The, the, so the first one especially. Yeah. Right? No. Because because I played it because I didn't have a PS3 for a long time. And my first experience with the Uncharted series was exactly like yours. It was the Uncharted collection. And I was just like, man, do I have to fucking play this first one? Because this yeah. game is fucking boring, dude. Yeah. It's the first one You're not playing it right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you're not playing it right then. Were you running gun or were you like duck and hide? I would yes. be ducking and hiding and like both. Oh, yeah. You got a fucking running gun. It's a running gun game. It's it's let me I take this chance. They, I'm just gonna fucking shoot so, over this so, thing. And then I'm so why does every air. arena I'm have that guy like, like, boom, 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 boom. waist high walls? Is that what so. guns sound like? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh shit! Okay, blah, blah. now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> blah. Okay, now no, we're talking. I'm, it's it's a running, it's a fun actiony game, and I and I, I I'm telling you, yeah. man, like I, I I feel like I I genuinely believe maybe. You guys did not play it right because it's okay. So, I like so the argument. Well, hold on. Yeah. So the argument to that point is: if we didn't play it right, why did they give us the mechanics to play it wrong? Because you're supposed to play like that. I mean, you're supposed to take cover. So yeah, they, you're supposed to take cover, take some blind fire shots, and then run around. I don't think I blind fired intentionally a single time. At all. Oh, I hate, you gotta. I hate you gotta, the idea of blind fire. That's part of it. Fire. That's no, part of it. I'm way, I'm way busier dying by jumping off of shit anyway. Uh, so, yeah, like... I, I constantly found myself, like, jumping out of cover and then just getting, like, shot the fuck up. So, maybe it was me just being shitty at it, but... Maybe. So... Christian. The Uncharted Chris series Sin. is the best console exclusive series on any console, Mario included. Jacob, so, Jacob hold on. that's a quote. That's a quote from so, Jacob. That that's a quote, a quote from that Jacob. He just said it. That's out of his mouth. But here's a problem. Out of context quotes. Here's We're going to be issue. on a t-shirt. Teespring.com slash Jonathan Gaming. That's fair. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's n- it's Persona Non Grata. Persona, see what I did ah. there? See what I did there? See what I did there? Because Chris Tan's gaming opinion is fucking trash. Well, he does own Bo- an Xbox. Boom. So. <laughs> anyway. So Quinn says I beat the first Uncharted. It was good until the aliens, in my opinion. <laughs> Wait a minute, that was. 
wasn't it? <laughs> that was awesome. Wait, no. Oh, Uncharted he's trolling, three. dude. He's trolling, brother. He's trolling as a motherfucker. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Okay. Huh. Spoiler alert. I haven't beaten Uncharted 1, so I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just going with aliens. There was like other weird shit yeah it was like it made me think of actually it made me think of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon (laughs) (laughs) which is why I thought he was immediately trolling but anyway so are we playing Shenmue 1 and 2 oh absolutely so but how can I play that I don't I don't own a Dreamcast well I'm happy (laughs) to tell you (laughs) that Shenmue 1 and 2 are coming to consoles and PC this year. Holy shit! Holy shit! Shenmue 1 and 2 are coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC later this year. Sega announced at tonight's Fez 2018 press conference. Did we know there was a press conference? Not even a little bit. Sega has confirmed it will have higher resolutions and improved textures, as well as graphics options for PC players. You will also be able to choose between modern or classic control settings and English or Japanese voiceover. Finally, those forkless and sailors in glorious high definition. Man, I'm the gonna f- miss this podcast. The first Shenmue After I get sued for copyright infringement. Uh, I don't fucking care. Plagiarism. The first Shenmue Street. originally released because again, I didn't care last time. I don't care this time. The first Shenmue originally released on Dreamcast in 1999 with the sequel Shenmue 2 dropping in 2001 for Japan and 2002 for North America. Because to be frank, if we get if we get a cease and desist letter, it means we're successful. Come at me, Sega. I scared of you, bro. I'm so sorry, Sega. So to answer your question, I don't think I'm going to play it. No? What? what? I I think it's a, another case where I missed the boat. Okay. So, hmm. Everything I've seen of those games... Not interesting they, to you. No. Well, the, the person to answer that would be Jacob, because you played that, right? Like I, I have. It. I haven't played it. It's, does I it played the up? fucking shit out of it. Well, I don't know if it holds up, actually, because I haven't played it since me? the okay. Dreamcast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I mean, because like, games, like, I, I recently played uh, Conquer, you know, and, Best and it, it holds up. Yeah. It, it wait, totally wait, wait, up. wait. Best for day, right? Yeah, yeah, bad for day, yeah. Day, Conquer's bad for day. I even played the Xbox one, which was the worst. The freaking the freaking uh, the really? N64 was that. way no okay the the tail physics sorry the tail physics was stupid the little fur thing on there it was dumb the fur thing was dumb fur thing was dumb whenever, Josh, not a when, furry right Confirm. when not whenever furry. like uh, don't get me wrong I the frame rate die. got worse somehow I hope <laughs> you don't tail. I hope you don't die anytime it's soon up on the tail. but I'm gonna use that as as um, as your quote on your tombstone what the tail was bad. No, because then they'll think it's about Jamie, and then I'll kill you in the afterlife. And then you'll go to the after-after. It'll be after fucking life. worth it. Oh, the after-after. After. After, I've always after wanted life. to go to the after-after. After. Yeah. What about the after-after? After, after and after then we life? go down to the hotel no, I lobby. I do that too. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> so, speaking of that, if you didn't know, one of the, honestly, probably for me personally, the greatest E3 moment of all time was the Shenmue 3 reveal. I don't know. The remember. fucking. Uh, well, I know this is literally yeah. no interest to you. To, to either. No, I am really. interested in it. People I, I, remember, I remember back when it was a joke and that it was like, oh, the, it's like the Half Life 3, it's never going to happen. Thing. Yeah. And then it I, happened people and like and fucking like jumped on the desks and, stuff, and yeah. cried and lost their I saw shit. the Zelda reveal. That was fun. Yeah. This, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Nintendo, I'll, I'll tr- dude, that's the one thing I'll never become is I will never become a Nintendo Nintendo fanboy. You'll never become ten- no, oh. a Nintendo fanboy. Those guys well, are fucking weird. To be I'm fair. sorry. Well, okay. They are All right, well, fucking look, weird. Segue. Why are they weird, Josh? Dude, I'm sorry. Like, there's something off about how obsessed they are about like cartoony. It's, it's almost like a, a like a modern day jabroni, not jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> modern day uh, this brony. man is losing his shit right modern now. Modern day brony. A modern day jabroni. Modern day jabroni. <laughs> You said it so fast, and I was just like, "Did he go there?" No, awesome. a modern day bro. No, modern day bro, but like okay. a, a different, not even modern day. Because wait, 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 wait. This yeah, right. I was gonna day, say, like, I was like, a modern yeah. day bro is no, just a it, fucking it, it brony, is, right? Like, I, I, I always I, I forget that My Little Pony was. You know, anyways, do uh, bronies still exist? Oh, for they? sure, dude. I'm sure, they do. Absolutely. Yeah. So proud of you, Christian. Modern so day jabroni. Christian. Anyways, uh, but no, it's like a modern day brony. And okay, so you look at uh, the you even showed us uh, after the podcast at one time the uh, the Smash Brothers reveal. Yeah, and the guy who fainted. 
I'm what? sorry. What the fuck? Yeah, fainting what? is no, no. a little much. Dude. And he wasn't actually. Was, um, he, if you, he if, wasn't really fainting. He was doing yeah. it for the attention. But to be that obsessed over he, cartoon yeah. fucking characters, I'm sorry. So, and and for, like, Josh, give, how do you feel give, about Persona Five? I know, right? I fucking <laughs> love it. I wanna, <laughs> so, uh, just to give perspective, what, just to give perspective, right? um, we well, don't do it now because you're, you're you're talking to us, you're watching us. But after after this, go and look up the Nintendo New York. Uh, I'm sorry, Nintendo Manhattan store. It's in New York, but just to give you some some actual location specifics, watch the reveal of the Super Smash Brothers um, reveal earlier this year to know what Josh is talking about. Because yeah, it was. But I mean, it's just the top. weird. It's weirdness. It's it's like yeah. it's like okay. So there's loving anime. All right, I used to love anime. I, I am friends with up, people who. No, no, I'm still friends with people who love anime. I, I can still enjoy anime. There's nothing wrong. I don't wrong. love anime there's, at all. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong tattoo. <laughs> there's nothing that's wrong. That's the right tattoo. With being right. Nope, that's a still the wrong tattoo. That's anime. the right tattoo. But then there there's go. those people, and you know what I'm talking about. The weeaboos. Those weeboos? people. The yeah. weeaboos. The weeaboos. <laughs> who are just like Trevor first. Who have the fucking the hug pillows. I'm gonna have to drag out a fucking Akihabara in a couple weeks. Like I'm saying, like you. those are the kind of fanboys of Nintendo. I just don't want to ever be like. Sure. Because and it seems like they're everywhere. Like even, even and I, I'm probably putting my foot in my mouth so fucking hard right now. But have you met? I tried. I tried watching a podcast. Uh, the it was an IGN one. Uh, Nintendo. Nintendo. The something. Nintendo. The, the Nintendo it's, podcast. It's the Nintendo yeah. podcast. And just everything. Of, like they just NBC seem or weird. Like NBC, that. yeah, yeah. They just seem video really club or weird. Something, whatever. They just seem really. They seem weird. The really only weird. normal one was actually one of the people we thank at the end of the episode was Brian Altano. <laughs> 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 like he seemed like the only normal. But the other guys were just like, really. I don't know. It's it's like being obsessed over a kid's toy. Okay, that's what it is. Because yeah. Zelda, Mario, you can break it down any way you want. It's a fucking kid's toy. And it's okay to enjoy it, sure. but to be obsessed with it. It's like, ah. But like, but Persona Five though. <laughs> to Play echo. Persona Five. Yeah, it's it's great. It's on, true. that's her name. Hey. I want to. Indeed. On. On. Indeed. Tristan, <laughs> what you got? Uh, if anything, Josh, it's a Nintendo don't. Is what oh wow! I don't even remember fucking what we were originally the fucking talking mic. about. By the Shenmue. Way. Anyway, oh, doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> <laughs> so Quinn asks, "Can you play Shenmue Two without playing Shenmue One?" I found Shenmue Two for Xbox at the flea market the other day for a couple of bucks. Play Shenmue One. Answer the is question Quinn local? for sure. Quinn is uh, actually a few hours south. Okay, if you, if you still say, live there, if, I know you've been because um, Quinn is actually in a band, and I know you've been traveling a little bit. So, well, if you're gonna travel to Jacksonville, uh, bring your Xbox. I will mod it for you. There you go. I Happy got every game ever made for the Xbox. There you go. Including Shenmue uh, Two. Christopher <laughs> Donald Stanton, unfortunately, says <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nintendo does make weird business decisions. I think. I think what's interesting about Nintendo is it's far surpassed weird business decisions. You can't be weird if you're fucking Nintendo. You're Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo. There's is nothing weird about weird. it. It's literally just them. It's just yeah. a Nintendo thing to do. Right. Exactly. But it somehow works because we love Mario. Yeah. We love Zelda. I have a Mario tattoo. I have a Zelda tattoo. Um, I showed it by accident because I was trying to make a point about an anime. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, you live in Tallahassee, Quinn. There you go. So yeah, you still live in Florida. Um, so I I think it's interesting though because like the and we'll, this will segue into my next my next topic about Shimbu three um, that I mentioned earlier actually that uh, I'm surprised that it took this long for Shimbu one and two to come out um, as a re release or really whatever right. because the the three reveal was two or three years ago I want to say like correct me if I'm wrong guys but I'm not looking at look, I'm not looking shit up because I'm the host I don't have to do that so yeah, let me look up. I think it was the same time as the, <laughs> the, the God of War one. Yeah, the Shenmue. Yeah, it was. It, it might. It might have been. It wasn't the same show. I want to say God of War was a year later, but okay. Josh can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I can't believe I said that. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say but, Shenmue three. I'm. You can see I haven't looked it up. Yeah. No. Do whatever. It's uh, fine. I'm gonna no say worries. Shenmue three was announced 2015. Okay. 2015. Okay. Um. So, I want to say that because I I actually supported this game on on Kickstarter. And I boom. What did you nail it? Twenty fifteen, E three twenty fifteen. There you go. So there, there right. it is. So I supported this game immediately, and I can't <laughs> believe. It too. Yeah, three years ago, so it's FF seven. 
Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, that was the Euro Dreams before. But well, now the Euro Dreams is now because we got fucking Spyro. Did y'all talk about Spyro last week? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we, um, a little bit. A lot of it. it I, was, I don't, was I don't the cover watch, photo. I don't, watch, I don't fucking watch this show. Um, Spyro, Crash, um, all that shit. New Super, Super Smash Brothers. All that. All that. All that goodness. I supported the shit out of it. Um, as a matter of fact, I believe they asked. I want to. I want to. I want to pull up and see what they asked for. That's right. They asked for two million dollars. They got six point. Not not point. Six. Yeah, point. I don't know how to say. Oh, six point. You, you know what? You know what? You know what? No, I'm going to do it correctly, Josh. Okay. I'm going to fuck it up, but I don't care. I get up six million. Six million. Three. Three hundred. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I remember. I remember math now. Six million three hundred and thirty thousand two hundred and ninety-five dollars. Nope, nope, nope. Fuck. You, you missed. Fuck. There's only thousand, right? Six million three hundred thirty-three thousand two hundred ninety-five. Fuck. I was close. Shit. Anyway, six, sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty nine, nine, sixty nine, thousand, thousand, thousand three hundred and twenty <laughs> backers. I am one of those people, and the game hasn't come out yet. Keep in mind, I get emails all the motherfucking time about um, thank you for um, proving our game. Thank you for giving money. Please take a look at this Please trailer. A look. So, I've seen a lot of trailers. I'm like, give me my motherfucking game. I supported so many, like, three bank accounts ago. Like, <laughs> I don't even bank with the same fucking bank that I did then. Like, you come on, what, man. You know what I wonder, too? Yeah. I wonder how much money they're getting from one and two. Who's getting well, that money? But, is but it going to them? But, yeah, that's the thing. Like, who, who, but it's too late. The going? development cycle is almost, is, is almost over. Yeah, Somebody... That's what I'm saying. So I'm wondering if, like, maybe, maybe the reason why it took so long to come out is they would have gotten money. And then they wait until they're, you know, they're, uh, uh, what is the thing? The the thing you get after, uh, after, a, residuals? after a project, residuals, after the residual yeah. license or whatever has expired. And maybe that's why, because it would make a lot more sense to release this around the same time. So, sure. But well, like, you know, so, but that also means that Shemu wanted to, had to be in development around that time period as well, before the, before the reveal or the announcement. Um, I would think. I don't know. I'm but, sure they started working on it as soon as they saw how successful the Kickstarter was. They were like, "All right, oh, let's sure. raise a few more dollars." But, out of but, 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 but that's what. But that's what. But that's what's interesting. There's no way it took that long. Yeah, well, maybe. I mean, development no. cycles. We don't know really. Like development cycles could be that long. Could, three, four years. It, sure. Yeah. Three, four years. Absolutely. God of War is a perfect example of that. Dude, no. Zone five. Is, a great example one of that. No, 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 one and two. One. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about one and two? Shimu, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, no, no, no. the development cycle of three. Oh, okay, I yeah, think yeah, you're saying one and well, two. Cause, cause, well, because I was going to say like, one and two. It didn't take them that long to to remaster, rework right. what they're doing. But yeah. but to my but my point um, essentially is that we are in a situation I think where they didn't really have to go the Kickstarter route that fast because if you guys recall the 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 2015 reveal had like hype a meter whatever and then. Small press release of Kickstarter because I thought they were coming out with a fucking game and I was ready to fucking go. I, w- I was like, let me buy it now. Oh, actually, we're doing Kickstarter, but like I was still kind of hyped, so I-, I bought it anyway. I don't think, and I could be wrong, but I think if they had remastered one or two prior, yeah. saw what people bought, which would have been a shit ton of copies, and then went to a, a um, I guess, a distributor, I suppose, or a publisher, I should say. Sony, who, who cares? And said, "Here's the here's the people that bought our game. Give us the money to make a fucking well, sequel." It's exactly what they're doing with Splinter Cell right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Do, did you have that on there too? Mm-mm. Did you want to get off Shamu and? I mean, we can. I, I have a, a shit ton of things to talk about, but well, I don't I, care. We can I mean... do whatever we want, man. This is our <laughs> podcast, Josh. So I, I was going to bring up the fact that they're kind of doing that with. Have you heard about this, Tristan? Yeah, I know that they're bringing Michael Ironside back. So right? Michael, yeah, like Michael Ironside. Ghost Recon. Uh, he's yeah he's gonna be in uh, Ghost Recon as like a, this mission whatever super super difficult and uh, there's already and we covered the fact that there were rumors that they were making a new Splinter Cell and we were talking about how you were, weren't even hyped for that and yeah. then after that they were talking about remaster not remastering but bringing the original and you know back if I'm not to, hyped it's bad they're bringing the original back to um, like backwards compatible mm. with Xbox sure so I mean they're kind of that's what they're doing right now they're gauging you know to see what the interest is so they can get a budget i don't think they're anywhere near a new game right now Mm -hmm. but you know they're kind of seeing and that's the smart thing to do you know absolutely so that's i mean if we show the support for splinter cell there will be more 
you know, there will be a new Splinter Cell. And it is, I mean, the, the whole campaign though with Shenmue 3 is, has been just this giant joke anyways. He's constantly asking for money. It, you know, he, he met his goal, yet somehow he still wasn't able to Four, four make million the dollars over the quick. goal. Like, yeah. you know, it's, it, the whole thing has been a joke. Yeah. These people are doing it right. I don't know what my point is, but there it is. I, right. <laughs> I do not think they ever would have done this remaster if the if three Shenmue 3 did money. Yeah, because I mean, the people who like Shenmue really like Shenmue. But here, here I am. who else talks about Shenmue? Sure. The, outside of the people. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, because, but in, 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 in Quinn brings up a good point. Dreamcast is the most underrated system of its time. And I, I think that's a fair argument. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Sonic Adventure 1, 2, whatever was, was great. Um, Power Stone might be one of my favorite. I don't even like fighting games like that. Power Stone is fucking awesome. That game is fucking sweet. I don't care. Fight me. Like, literally. I don't care what anyone else thinks about that. Um, but, like, it, it failed, right? So, mm. to your point, though, like, that means that there's a finite amount of people that have played that game, yeah. right? Um, and I don't know if it got released on PS2. I, 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 like, in the back of my head, I feel like something like that happened. I'm not sure. But I'm sure, even if that was the case, it was a fucking fraction of who played it originally right. because people bought it. I'm sure it only it. came out for... Yeah. For Dreamcast. Yeah, okay. Anyway, a game that I forgot to talk about was Celeste. Ariana. Do Stevens. we have time to talk about <laughs> Celeste? Celeste. See, Josh, Celeste. you forgot. But I'm hosting. I know time it. is of I no essence. Knew it. Oh so, <laughs> like, which is actually great because, like, because, like, I definitely, like, put a shit ton of news stories in here that I was like, if we have, to, if we... We need time. I got plenty to talk about, but here we are. It's <laughs> like one news article. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, so Celeste is a great game. Go play it. Fuck you, Ari. All right. Now I'm done. All right. So, has anyone watched the movie King of Kong? No. Neither. Neither of you. Now, so King of Kong was a movie, um, I want to say, I don't know, eight or nine years ago, something like that, uh, where... A nobody was trying to go against um, the arcade um, Donkey Kong record, which was whatever number it was. There was this guy, Billy Mitchell, that had had the record for a long fucking time. It was his. And it, the, the documentary, which I highly recommend, I don't even know where you can find it, but it's a fucking awesome movie. And uh, essentially, it's his journey to try to like train, train up, I guess, from a Rocky perspective. <laughs> <laughs> when you're. <laughs> Playing video games, I suppose. And to, to get the record. So, the spoilers. And if you haven't watched it yet, you should have already have anyway. So, that was my point. Neither one of us have watched it. I'm, I'm, not, spoil it I'm not talking to you. Fuck off. I already spoiled it for you anyway in our pre-discussion. So, shut the fuck up. I was listening to you then either. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I guess I know how it feels like. <laughs> Touche, I suppose. So... Uh, so spoilers he actually does beat the record and like it's a big riffraff awesomeness and then Billy Mitchell beats him again anyway mm-hmm. so I'm like alright all right, well that that happened I, why did I watch this movie but again life's about the journey I suppose anyway so if you go to Kotaku or literally anywhere on the fucking universe and plug in Billy Mitchell and Donkey Kong you will realize that this motherfucker has been cheating the whole goddamn time Maybe not the whole goddamn time. I'm giving him. I'm giving him a lot more credit. What credit's due. But anyway, somebody that has no time on their hands has looked up. And when you go for the world record for these type of games, you have to do it in a certain way. You have to play in a, um, a well, for lack of a better term, an actual arcade machine, not yeah, emulated. You can't do an emulator because right. you could do so many things with an emulator. Right. So essentially, apparently. 2007 is when the movie came out. Thank you, Chris. So, Bill Bill cheated, and I just wanted to put this in the stories and say that good guys can still win sometimes. <laughs> so, remember when you think, man, um, nothing happens to good guys. Nothing good happens to good guys. Eventually, sometimes it takes 11 years. <laughs> but, but, yeah, that's right. Derek, Derek, who I miss quite dearly, um, was a modded cabinet. Which is crazy to me because how how did he think that that wasn't going to get caught? Sure, it took well, 11 years. Well, it didn't get caught for 11 years. Right. Yeah. But, and, and I guess he just like, he was like, well, uh, I, I, I'm I going to get away with it for a while. Mm-hmm. Or, or he thought, he figured, I suppose, ever. 
And so I, I wanted to put this in more than anything else because the bad guy, actually, I wrote this down specifically. I said, follow up bad guy response. Ha ha ha. He sucks. Fuck you, Billy. So Billy Mitchell releases a statement on his disqualified records. And he says the following. I've been asked to address things that are recently in the media. The fact of the matter is, now that there's a true professional, now that now there's a true professional due diligence being done to investigate things that happened as far as 35 years ago, in a professional manner, not in a shock jock mentality designed to create hits, we will show that everything that has been done, everything was done professionally. According to the rules, according to the scoreboard, the integrity that was set up, not 2014 forward by the current regime. Who wants to reach back 35 years? Everything will be transparent. Everything will be available. I wish I had it in my hands right now. I wish I could hand it to you, but it's taken a considerable, a considerable amount, a little bit, a considerable amount of time. Witnesses, documents, everything will be made available to you. Nothing will be withheld. You absolutely have my commitment to that. We've been at this since 1982, and it's not going to stop now. Fuck you. You're a liar. You got caught. You, Because you literally can't tell me in any realm of reality that you didn't play in a emulated game. Because someone out there with spent years, years trying to find out that you cheated. And only now you're interested and, and oh no uh i have uh, i have documents and records and shit if you did if that's the case why the fuck didn't you put it out to begin with if you were so concerned that people were worried about your record so to speak because we can say it in air quotes now because it's not fucking yours motherfucker guess what barry bonds has a better record than you do so, And I actually like Barry Bonds. I've actually been to San Francisco. I've seen Barry Bonds hit a home run. I haven't seen you do hit a home run. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bam. So, anyway, if you guys have any thoughts, please share them. Nope. Cool. I, yeah, I don't know much about his record. Yeah. I've been meaning to watch the documentary it's, for a long time. It, I'm telling you, man, it is absolutely worth a watch. Okay. Especially now. And I hope that oh, God, I hope it's on Netflix. I don't know if it is or not. I don't think it is. Um, if it if it's not, it fuck it should be right fucking now. Um, thank you, Chris. Home run statement. I thank you. I thank you very much. Um, so I'm skipping a couple of stories because we're not really super relevant anyway. Um, motherfucking Spider Man. That's coming out what date? Iron September seventh. That's yeah. adorable yeah. because I didn't look it up because I knew these fools were gonna have it for me. Yep. Hashtag we hosting. Do our homework. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm I'm of two minds with this game because it's top level. Spider Man is absolutely my favorite. Not even Marvel. Not DC. That's my favorite he- superhero of all time. I got a fucking half like not half sleeve. That doesn't make any sense on my leg. I got a big ass tattoo. I'll put it that way. <laughs> I'll put it that way on my leg. And he's my guy. I love that dude. A lot and um everything i've seen about it makes me super fucking excited and i'm curious what you guys um have have like based off of the coverage or if maybe you're just not watching anything well i mean it's it's the same guys who did a game i've never played uh freaking sunset overdrive sunset overdrive mm-hmm. and infamous apparently oh and, and infamous i want to say yeah um, me from wrong everywhere. but i mean they're they're apparently they're very good at at traversal and the one thing that you have to nail with the spider-man game is traversing Swing. new york city yeah and from what I hear, from the limited time that people have spent on it, that's it's good. And if you add after that, if you just have basic Batman combat, uh, combat the press Y for you know, whatever. <laughs> press Y for press respect. Y. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I still don't even know what that's from. I don't even know what that's from. It's from uh, Call of Duty. Is it really? Okay, okay. Yeah. So I just had to take it's it. It's you know, like the hit Y, hit triangle for uh, you know, counter. As long as they have that, then that's fine. The combat's good, the traversal's good, then we're we're fine. This is gonna be an amazing Spider Man game. I'm down for it. I'm pumped for it, yeah. Yeah. I'm downright fierce for it. 
Are you down? Are Actually, you down? I pulled I pulled the downright serious card earlier today, and I'm really fucking proud of it. That's, uh, that's what we I, should I do. believe I was at brunch. I was like, would you say you're downright fierce? And I was like, YouTube.com is like downright fierce gaming. <laughs> and they're what like, what? I'm like, nothing. Uh, what you call it? Uh, Dear F Talks to Strangers. That's what I uh, Oh, for afters? For afters. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it. Sure. Why not? I don't even care. We got a lot of beer. <laughs> anyway, so Quinn mentions earlier. I do have something to say about this. I saw the movie and I thought that Billy Mitchell was a dick. You have a correct point. That was a editorial to my point the movie definitely shifted the opinion that way to be honest i have met a lot of celebrities 90 percent of them are not very cool and you leave let down when i met him a walter day the referee they were some of the nicest people i have met well that's and and honestly that's that's good because i think that on a very real note i think it's tough for people to re- remember like anyone in that kind of limelight is actually a real fucking person like, if I met Brad Pitt at the airport, I would probably be like, How's it going? Oh, I'm yeah. Brad Pitt. Um, How you doing? <laughs> is he Tony hey, listen, Soprano? <laughs> listen, no, no, would you really listen to how Brad Pitt talks? He kind of talks like this. Hey, you know, it's whatever. Do you like bags? He's like... <laughs> you get a reference? Yeah, like Eight fucking plus. Yeah, like dogs. You? Snatch. Nice. Yeah. No, no, yeah, like dogs. Oh, you spoke. I like, I like caravans not. more. Yeah. You, you like what? No, you like I like more? caravans more. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I. What, what, what? Like the fucking uh, the uh, the fucking uh, the, the Germans. Like the, the Germans. Germans. <laughs> I've been drinking, dude. I've been drinking. I haven't had anything to eat today. I had breakfast. Why the it. fuck did you have literally all day to eat food? I was playing like Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we have to do with, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Why do you think you're hosting? Why do you think because I you, the news? Because it's because I was busy playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> I, I feel like Josh, I feel like Josh is cosplaying me now at this point, <laughs> and I'm pretty happy about it. Anyway, so <sighs> I have one more point I would like to make. So let's call it the uh, the Jerry Springer. What's the what's the what's the signal that he has? Um, the closing word, the something word. You know what? We're just going to call it that, I suppose. So, uh, from an editorial perspective. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I need help! <laughs> I'm going to take your switch away. I'm actually going to take your switch away! Actually, you know what? No. I, quick segue out. Jamie, you didn't feed your new new to be husband? New I'm just new, new to be, new to new be, to be. <laughs> new to be. I, I don't know how to word. Anyway, we've been, I've been drinking too. Fuck off. Why is she supposed to feed him? Why yeah, because him like, oh, yo, wow. oh, oh, I was definitely like, really, this I was like, really awfully chauvinistic of you. <laughs> wow. Holy wow. shit. Woo. That was close. <laughs> fucking Tristan. Uh, I trust you way too much. That will never fucking happen again, ladies and gentlemen. To Chris and David's point, it is the final thought, and f- Jesus Christ, is that, that your happened. final thought? It is not. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna say what I want to say anyway. <laughs> so, I think that even though we talk about games a lot and we yell about games a lot, I think it's important to note that we are all in this together. And that's it. Thank you, and take care of each other. Yeah, right. Well, exactly. So that's the singer thing. Yeah. So thing. now. Let's play 20 questions. <sighs> yeah, 20 questions! <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were waiting all night for that shit. <laughs> uh, we got to do it right then. <laughs> Listen to the new Ghost single because it is so good. I actually haven't heard it yet. I know Chris is going to be very upset by that fact, but. Yeah, he. Yeah, who cares what he thinks anyway? So Hold what's on. video I gotta, game I gotta, questions? Um, who fucking cares? Go. <laughs> am I getting the? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Um, okay. So these fools have to guess the. Cause God, I hate this fucking segment. I'm doing it anyway because I almost. I don't, I'm gonna be very really clear. I'm only doing it because I know internally Josh is losing his shit because we're over an hour, and that's literally the only reason why I'm doing this segment. So I'm gonna pull up this fucking game. Because I lied and said that I had a game. I don't. So, I... <laughs> okay. I'm going to pick a game. Are you guessing, right too? 
<laughs> do I have a game? <laughs> yes. All right, cool. See you guys later. No. Uh, okay. Hold on one second. I am going to pick now. A game keep in mind right what kind of games I pick. Nobody like major you, games, ass. major games I'm that like most nobody, people know. Nobody about. fucking asks your fucking opinion. Just um, saying. So, like freaking I, Tristan over there did Sleeping Dogs. I felt like that was like that was that's like, a pretty big that's game. A fucking fantastic game. It's a fantastic game, but it's not a, as popular as as the it games I've be. done. You know what, what was last I week? What did I, I ask last week? It was uh, no one uh, asked you again. It was injustice. Here. Injustice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't look at my phone. I'm oh, trying not I'm to. I'm not gonna cheat. Okay. Um, go. Did this game come out after January first, two thousand? Yes. And someone write this down. I don't. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> well, you got to keep track of. Yeah, that, you man. can. You can. You can do that. No, no, I'm good. Because then we get. Oh, questions. oh! No, <laughs> now he's not the fucking host anymore, and like he uh, can't do shit anymore. All right. In the game. Is it an RPG? No. Did this game come out for the current console generation? No. Okay, so PS3, um, Xbox 360, Wii U. We know it won't be a computer Wii. game. Did this game? <laughs> Wait, is that one of those like because Jacob hates computer games? <laughs> did, this, did this game? Did this game come out? You don't know. Did this game originally come out for PC? Originally. No. Okay. Because a lot of games, you That's know, they get ported afterwards. Your face gets ported okay, afterwards. So, bam. Do you want to take turns, or do you want to just throw them out? Just there? go whenever you got one. Do uh, you, uh, was this a console exclusive? Hmm. Be careful with that one. Because <laughs> it could be exclusive to all consoles, or exclusive actually, to one console. Actually, actually, yes, yes. Okay, right. so let's nail down console. Like Chris would be yelling at us right now from the. He has no fucking chat. idea. He has no idea. Did it come out Maybe for it the PS3? No. Did it come out for a Nintendo console? No. Did it come out for 360? No. Did it come out for the PS2? Yes. Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, Yeah, wow. you said yeah, after, after 2000. 2000 yeah. Correct a Mundo. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are they going to say Good next? Call. What are we at? So it's not an We're RPG. Not an RPG. Correct. And came out for the PS2, an exclusive PS2 game. Mm. Uh, is this a first-person game? I gotta find out. Have you? Have you not played this game? I have, but I forgot. Okay, so it's not obviously. Uh, no. Okay, so it's not obviously a no so it wouldn't be like a final fantasy it wouldn't you're be you're overthinking it no probably. i am fucking you not know. no i am fucking not because know. if it was a final fantasy type game you would automatically you know it's not know an rpg already it. yeah Sat. no i'm saying i'm just giving it is a, it a platformer eh, no okay that would be 11 okay I should go to the chat at this point. You should go to the chat. Here. But uh, I'm looking at the Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. You're going to give me your phone? Yeah. I can't wait. All right, to let's nail down mechanics. Um, or actually, you know what? What about, um, uh, not genre, but um, like time period. So like sci-fi. Go um, for it. This is a sci-fi game. No. That's 12. Uh, is this, oh god ah, ah. Ah. is it to answer your question whenever whenever you get to it um Quinn the answer to your question is yes is it a modern was that towards the 20 questions no it was not oh, okay. is it a modern he, he was asking I'll tell you he was asking if he was allowed to ask questions Did, and at this point yes you are does it take place in like modern times Modern enough, like you know, like realistically modern times. Sure. <laughs> no, no, hold on. What? Yeah, see, that's a, yeah, that's a new that's, one. Now you know that's what it's a like, new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah bitch. <laughs> sure. Not to be careful with that. Sure. Not okay. yes. Not no. Sure. All right. Now, by the way, if you if this is like a I'm not obviously it's not Pokemon, but if it was Pokemon and you said sure for like modern times, that'd be fucked. I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider. Pokemon well, what time modern is game. Pokemon. You would say I have that's no idea, nice. and then Are move on with it, and then move like on with that. An apocalypse. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like you don't know what time po period Pokemon came out, so you say I don't know, and then we move on. I'm just saying. 
What was All right, the so it's again? not sci-fi. So it's not sci-fi. It is kind of modern, at least modern perceiving. Like it's mm. it's it's basically modern. Mm. Not an RPG. Mm. That not means it first doesn't person. have like an actual like concrete like time period setting. If you said sure, you know the best part about this, and I'm gonna go pee. And it doesn't take place. I bet you it doesn't take place in um in in like on. Oh, Earth. Look at your phone. Not gonna. I bet you it doesn't take place on Earth because if it did, he would be able to place the time period. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. So, not on Earth, but... Okay. And it's not a platformer. Think, yeah, not a platformer, not an RPG. Should we nail down pr- perspective? I think we should do type of game. Like horror? Like a Resident Evil kind of... That's not PS2 exclusive. Ooh, but... What no, if it's I mean, a Silent Hill game? No, no, those were... Those came out for... Yeah, those... Did no, they? no. Silent Hill Two did. Did Silent Hill One? Silent Hill One was PS One. Oh. All right. I know you guys don't like this question, but I'm gonna go with it. Was this? No, no, uh, never mind. I was gonna say was this a Japanese game, but that's, that's not gonna help too much. Was this? You know what? I'm gonna. Do you mind if I just throw one away real quick? Cause it'll eliminate a lot. No, I don't mind. Was this game made by Capcom? No. Okay. That helps. Okay. So that's 13, so we, 14. we've gotten rid of all the Resident Evils, all the... Street Fighters. Street Fighters, the... Yeah, somebody guessed RE4. Um, Somebody's, oh, okay. Some interesting guesses, but nothing nothing that would probably help you. By the way, you know... See, this is awesome. This yeah. is great, because now I get... I have the power. And now you like 20 questions. And you know how little silence... <laughs> yeah, I do. Have, <laughs> how little silence we have, because we're working it out loud, and we're, we're discussing, Shh. we're figuring it out. This is, this is some behind-the-scenes pitch <laughs> of this fucking segment that I hate when I'm not fucking listening. Okay. So this is a game that came out for the PS2. It is. It was exclusive for the PS2. It is. Not a Capcom game. Not, a, not, not an Capcom RPG. Game. Truth. Not an RPG. Truth. Right, not so first figure person. Figure out what kind of game it is. Uh, okay. Not a platformer. Mm. Is this game? Do you shoot guns in this game? No. Oh, that's, that's big. big. Is this? What, you, what were you thinking? Wait, wait. So it on. So it's. No, I'm not thinking of anything. That's the thing. Okay. I'm just, to narrow just, down. From a rule, it's a I brawler. Have. Because here's the thing: if it was set in modern times, not you're not gonna you're not gonna have swords. Okay. And it's not sci-fi, so there's no lasers or anything like that. There needs to be some kind of conflict in this game, so it's a punching, some kind of punching. Game. Not necessarily. Well, what else could it be? It could be something like Parappa, like a music game. It could be something like, uh, what what's the one where you roll shit game? around? What does it ask if it's a if there's combat in the game? Okay. Go. Is there is there combat in the game? Yes. Okay. There you go. So some kind of punching. Kick, punch, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so some kind God, of... I love that fucking game. Even play Parappa the Rapper, you are fucking up. Straight up. Do you want to just make... Just to make sure, make sure there's no magic? Go for it, man. I mean, you know, if you're comfortable with that, because we we're, are we're running, on, we're this running will be out our of 17th questions. Question. Yeah. yeah, this is 17. We're running low on questions, so do we have one in the chat that's gonna help? No, not really. Right. Um, you kind of ruled these out. Um, yeah, or they're bad questions, Christopher Donaldson. <laughs> <laughs> is there magic in this game? No. Okay. Okay. So basically, modern. There is combat, so there's fighting. Do you want to ask if it's a, it's a, if it's like a fighting game, like a? Go for it, man. You, you you keep scaring me with that though, because I feel like you have nothing to lose, and I have everything to lose. Welcome to the fucking game, Josh. <laughs> well, no, but this is there's a lot of pressure on me. Good. I'm the one who Again. always says we should do this game. To be fair, there is. Because, <laughs> because that's really funny to me. <laughs> is this a fighting game? Be careful with that. Okay. Ooh. So it's not like a Street Fighter kind of game. It's a brawler. Let's think about brawlers. I've been, wait- I've been waiting for that question for let's, a while. Let's let's think about brawlers. Okay. Like a Spyro type game, like where like it's you not, go around. I know, I know, but yeah. 
Oh, that's true. No, but like a game where you get around like that. You get around and you, you punch and you... Kick, punch. Sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm really not. So... Anything in the chat I you guys am, want to talk about? Like the Warriors. A game on, like you're asking like if it's a Warriors. licensed game. That would narrow eliminated. it down significantly if it was a licensed game. So you that could be a very valuable question. Is it a licensed game? No. Well, that didn't help us at all. So now all you right, have so to you ask gotta give us, you so gotta give us. You gotta give us one. You gotta give us one that's gonna be so, helpful. So I want you to think about everything that you've learned so far. Yeah. With yeah. this question, okay. I'm actually going to ask a question that you may have asked that you thought about asking. What? Is it, I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that, actually. Is the Japanese publisher Squaresoft? Yes. Wow. Okay, that's oddly specific. So, like, Dissidia? No, but they use magic. Is that an RPG? I don't know what that is. No, it's like a weird fighting game where they they have all the Final Fantasy characters. You guys got characters. in the chat. They have all the Final Fantasy characters fight each other. Yeah. Squaresoft. It's not a Final Fantasy game. Correct. I mean, well, I was also... Have it, I it could have been the, Josh? It, no, it could have been that. Have that I that stumped weird... Josh, you guys? <laughs> Squaresoft. By the way, this is not a very popular fucking game. Yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> I have nothing. You don't shoot guns. Oh, this is. Modern I just want to take this moment. And just no magic. <sighs> Y'all let me There's know. There's combat. Y'all let me know. It's sort of modern time. There's combat. Like that's the thing that's getting me. So like, <laughs> Chris, Chris is like, if it's scores off and there's no magic, I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's and it's not an RPG. It's not a but fucking it, but, RPG. But that question rules out a lot of shit. So. There's combat. You said there's combat. I'll give it. I'll give it. I'll, I'll say that it is a pretty underrated game, but it is a popular one. It is a underrated but must play on the PS2. I'm. I got nothing. If it's something stupid like fucking Dark Cloud, I'm gonna hit you. It is not Dark Cloud. I know, but I'm saying if it was, I would hit you because that's not modern times. Ish. <sighs> anyone? Times. Anyone in the chat want to give it a shot? This because I'm feeling fucking, I'm feeling like a square. goddamn god right now. There's no guns. No. So it's not one of their open world ish kind of games. Not like Sleeping Dogs. I'll put. I'll, put like... I'll actually give you a twenty. A, tw a twenty one. I'll give you a twenty one. Twenty first question. Is there a character on the front cover holding a fist like like this with his other palm? Palm. Yes. Twenty one. What? <laughs> That was just me fucking with you guys. Uh, hold on, no, no, I'm I'm really good with covers. Give me a second. Keep talking so there's no silence. Talking with no silence. So uh, what game David, do you recommend David asked, right now? Oh my fucking god! Uh, did did that I get was you? Square? Did, all right, what's well, the answer? Ask the question. No, no, no. no. Uh, well, I mean, I have nothing else to go on. So we already, we're already, you're already, you're already I don't lost. Know, yeah. I don't know what number it is though. Do I have to get the number right? Part of his oh shit. I I wish I could. we don't we don't do sequels. Yeah, we do. We do. Yeah, we now. do. Oh well, that's not. Well, Tekken, I didn't do a sequel. Then. It's not Tekken. Shit. It's, no, it's not Tekken. Because there's there's, there's a there's Tekken no, with him going like that. That's not an exclusive though. Wait, the Mark of Crete? No. Yeah, uh, that's that's a deep cut. Anyway. Oh <laughs> like, shit! Chris, Chris is gonna need twenty two. Um, David Silly says Valkyrie it's profile. Fucking no. Jade Empire. No, that's not. That's Modern Bioware. Time, is it? That's Bioware. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that, that wasn't PS2. PS2. I'm trying to think of who's doing that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is feeling me. This is feeling. I'm feeling so great right now. I think go we ahead. already did this game. Did we? I'm just gonna go for it because we're, we're so over time. Is it state of emergency? No, it's Fuck. not. What is it? Is it the bouncer? Yes. I have never heard of this game ever. Yeah, what? <laughs> I have never fucking heard of this game ever. There it is. 
I have never seen that up. fucking game ever. 2000 beat em up video game for the PlayStation Fuck 2, off, co-developed by Squaresoft and Dream, and Dream Factory. I promise you, it next was time published. you're fucking, I'm hosting, and you're fucking over here, and, and I'm over there, and we're doing that, I'm going to pick an obscure-ass game, too. What the fuck? Not obscure. Very popular game. Justin, have you ever heard of that? No, but I also didn't have a PS2, so. There you okay. go. I had so a fucking fuck PS2. Fuck off, Josh. Anyway, the bouncer. The Chris Dan, you can't say you never bouncer? heard of it. You don't even know how to play video games. The fucking, let's uh, yeah. Chris Dan, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Chris Dan doesn't hurt anything. fucking ever heard of that. The bouncer? It's a great game. What fucking game is it. this? My point. My point. Thank you, David. I for sure had that game. Fuck you, Josh. Okay, Asensio. well, one person. Thank you very, you very much. One fucking person. My dude. So, the let me play. Bouncer? Okay, I, I want to be very clear. Bouncer? This I've been is picking my... games like Halo. This I've is... been picking games like fucking Infamous. Giant, massive games that everybody's fucking Infamous. heard of. Silent Hill. Fucking The Bouncer? 22 questions. The fucking Bouncer? 22. And I nailed down that was a, basically I am a the, brawler. I, I don't know because I've never I am fucking heard fucking of that. Game. I'm a fucking winner. And, I got down Josh that it was not. a square soft. You, told you guys you said a square soft, but like, no magic. I New episodes Mother every Monday fucker. on iTunes, what Google Play, fuck? Podbean, and Are you Stitcher. kidding me? I would like, love for you to. Seriously? Actually, you know what? I'm going to do something different. The fucking Would you so bouncer? kindly subscribe on YouTube.com <laughs> like slash Downright Fierce Gaming? Would you so kindly letter. like us on Facebook.com slash Downright Fierce Gaming? Would you so kindly follow us on Twitter at DRF Podcast? Twitch.tv slash DRF Podcast. Snapchat Who at DR5 Podcast. Would you so kindly? You? You've sure. got to be Can kidding me. Um, yeah, sure. You are more than welcome to read about it. Because Would you so kindly buy it. merchandise the from us? Teespring.com slash Downright Fierce. Would you so title? kindly process sounds like funds towards Whitney us Houston if you movie. like this content? Actually, Fuck. just would you so kindly do it anyway? Patreon.com slash Downright Fierce. I would like to thank. Mark I bet Mitchell you I'm gonna for being a badass motherfucker. Too. I'm gonna look it up. I bet this game got like. I would also like to thank Brian Altano, Damon Hatfield, and MC Lars for seven. being badass motherfuckers. I bet you. I would love I to ask. Bet you. I would love to ask. I would love to seven. ask. I would love to ask because Josh is being rude. Bouncer. Would you so kindly PS2 pay review. your respects by clicking F5 to Carl Sharvis, Brian Kaminsky, and you fucking asshole. You I'm the happiest, asshole, I got I'm the happiest motherfucker on the planet. I won 20 questions. Hey, you did throw us off. You said that it was published by Squaresoft, but that was in Japan. I said, was, I literally said Japanese publisher, actually. No, it so was nice Square show. Electronic Arts in NA. So four point two. Off. That's why I didn't get it. Fuck four off. Four point two. Fuck off. You're a liar. Four point two. God off. damn it, anyway, Jacob. I won. Good night, everyone, and have a pleasant tomorrow. See you later. Bye. <laughs>